The tech sector started the year off with a bang and then fell hard on a range of worries, from trade to rising rates. Here are three predictions for 2019. One, Amazon's cloud drives consolidation. Amazon is making new moves in the cloud, introducing new server chips and bringing its cloud technologies to the data center. That's going to force rivals to react. For example, Google's new cloud chief, Thomas Curian, may have to buy other companies to catch up. Two, Google makes moves in China. Google's CEO Sundar Pichai was grilled on Capitol Hill about possible plans for a censored search engine for China. Now that doesn't look likely, but Google will keep trying to attract more of China's 800 million internet users with apps, investments, and licensing deals. Three, Apple shifts the narrative. Apple will begin to build a new case about why it's a smart investment, offering new data into metrics like loyalty and engagement as it tries to shift investor attention away from unit sales and to its strengths like that faster growing services business. Josh Lifton joins us now from One Market uh, to talk more about what might be coming for tech next year. Josh, uh, I guess one of the other things, and I guess maybe the Google and China uh, idea gets at this to some degree, but now you have all of tech you know, facing this idea of a regulatory threat too, so who knows if that uh, develops further next year. Yeah, I mean, I certainly think uh, ramping regulatory scrutiny, Mike, is a potential headwind. You know, but I, I have kind of questions about how much of a headwind that's really going to prove to be in 2019. You know, just in my thought there being when you watch um, our politicians, our lawmakers interacting, Mike, you see the way that President Trump interacting here with Pelosi and Schumer, the way lawmakers grilled or tried to grill uh, Senator Bichai on Capitol Hill. I just wonder whether those same lawmakers next year are really, is this a group of people that are really going to come together and be able to propose and pass? Um, regulation here. I mean, maybe GDPR light you get in 2019. I just find it tough to believe that that same group of politicians that we're all watching can really negotiate some type of new regulation that has any real teeth in 2019, but we'll see. Hey, Josh, I had to laugh. Uh, Wedbush put out, I'm sure you saw this, a wish list, the top 10 Christmas wish lists for Apple investors next year, uh, accelerated buyback, more transparency around services, and, and as they put it, finally a meaningful acquisition of either a major content player or studio or something. Yeah, so that's interesting. On the acquisition front, Carl, um, as we know, Apple traditionally doesn't do big acquisitions. Three billion for Beats, that was its biggest. Certainly when you have the kind of cash mountain that Tim Cook has, they can. I think Apple just generally thinks um, if they want new technology, they've got smart engineers, they can build it. Um, I do think, you know, what I was trying to get in my piece there, I do think there's an interesting narrative here that maybe takes shape in 2019 though, when it comes to Apple. I think the bull bear debate, you guys on your show, Carl, you've had so many smart analyst investors making that case. Um, obviously, the bears are bet out, out in force. That stock is down about 17% so far this month. I just think next year it'll be interesting. Um, do we get even more new metrics? You mentioned services, Carl. We know we're going to get some new insight there, but I'd be interested, too, do we get even more insight next year? There's some metrics cook you know, it speaks to a lot like customer loyalty. Um, also wearables, they've been kind of lifting the veil slowly there. That's watch, that's AirPods. They on the last conference call said wearables still growing at that 50% clip. So any new metrics we can get there next year too, Carl, that'll be interesting.